Human? Human? Hello? Are you there? Ah, I'm glad that it seems you're waking up. I was worried that despite my best efforts, the sea might have taken you. Oh, please, don't be alarmed. I'm here to help. I've only ever seen a few of your kind before, and it's so lovely to meet another. Shame that I always happen to meet you humans out on dire circumstances. But nonetheless, it's a wonderful opportunity. Where are you? Well, you're very far from home. I'm not sure what you humans would call this place specifically, but I do know off of a chart roughly where you are. You're in the Sea of Hadar off the western coasts of Terran. Very, very far from home, as I stated. You don't look like a seafarer, so I can only assume that you're from somewhere deeper in the mainland, right? Uh, that's no matter. How did I find you? Well, I was simply exploring the reefs and wrecks at night when the moon casts its pale glow through the dark waters of this place. Searching for trinkets and treasures to bring back home. When I heard the first sounds of cannon fire, I thought that perhaps it was a piece of the old wooden wreck I was in, groaning or splintering somewhere. I had paid no mind to it. That was until I heard it again, louder and unmistakable. The sound of cannons hurts my head since it echoes through the water so much, bouncing off the rocks and reefs. Anyways, I saw the flashes as the cannons barraged the shadow of another ship above me. Curious, I swam upwards, ditching my bag of loot to see what the commotion was all about. I'd seen this far too many times once I'd surfaced. The smell of gunpowder, the splinters of wood floating on the surface of the water, broken masts, screams from the decks of both ships, the sight of a black flag from what I've learned to be the Blackwater Pirates. No doubt the aggressor on a ship I'd seen sailing these waters before. A small sloop. I'd never bothered them, and they'd never bothered me, since oftentimes I find it easier to keep to myself. The few times I've tried to make contact with people on ships, they've always sailed away in fear or have tried their best to capture me. I know of others of my kind who've been captured before. I've seen what humans do, but they can't all be bad, right? That's why I try to understand them better. To speak with them like others of my kind tried to in days of old, when sailors would turn to us for help. For guidance. For a path through uncharted waters. But those days were so long ago that few of us even remember. Humans are like a bad dream for the elders of my kin. But that's enough of that. My name is Arroyo, and oh, please, please don't panic. I'll get back to the story. I'm so sorry that I get caught up in my excitement whenever I find myself a human. So I had surfaced and seen the terrible things at play, but as decreed by the Order of the Deep, I couldn't do anything to help. How I wanted to raise my spear and whisper to the depths to take that ship to its grave. But alas, if I had, I'd be shackled in stone once again. Left for a long time to stare at the scriptures until I'd read them through again. A truly boring endeavor I'd rather not indulge in. Again. The two ships were sailing away from me towards the Blackwater Isles, but... Through the smoke and fire, I could see that someone had been thrown overboard by a blast on deck. That's when I swam over cautiously and found you. You were hurt, red in the water. But I took the liberty of patching you out the best I could without using my powers. Nothing too serious, but that's why I wanted to make sure that you were okay. I saw that the other ship was preoccupied with yours and both were sailing away. So I took you here, an island where you could rest and regain your strength. There are no animals save for the birds that could harm you. There are streams and a little waterfall here, even some scraps left by the sea and other ships which have been left with unfortunate fates in these waters. 
I can't check for myself how useful they'd be because, well, getting on land is a bit of a drag, so to speak. Well, yes, I can't get more than a few feet onto the shores. The birds pester me incessantly. I think I'll stay in the water where I belong. Regardless, I hope that the pieces of whatever other wrecks have washed ashore will be of help to you. Oh, you've just realized that I'm not some monster? <laughs> yes, I do in fact exist, and there are many others of my kind who live beneath the surface. Why am I helping you? Well, there are many reasons. But among the most of them is that, well, humans interest me to no end. Why do I find humans so fascinating when I have an entire world of oceans and seas to explore? Well, I guess that when you're born into the water, it becomes easier to understand. I'd imagine that it's quite similar as to why humans sail the waters and explore. There's so much to be seen in the places you're from. But to see what else is out there, it's always an enticing prospect. And one that I love to indulge in. That and I always wonder what other tales humans spin about my kind when they talk to each other in their taverns and around fires. I've heard stories of us being monsters who lure sailors to their deaths, many of them. But I've also heard stories that hold more true to how things used to be. Like when my kin used to guide ships through the fiercest of storms and give them winds where there was only dead water. We helped in the past because we didn't understand. But as humans grew more knowledgeable on our powers and more reliant on us as good luck, so did their greed and envy of us. You're right in saying that I shouldn't trust humans. I don't. Not most of them anyways. But I try to offer the benefit of the doubt where I can. And in regards to you, I don't think that you're evil. You have a good heart. Maybe you've done terrible things in the past, but I don't know of them. Perhaps you'll have to tell me sometime. <laughs> Call it misguided trust, but it's trust nonetheless, and I did save you, right? I see no reason that you'd turn on me. Hmm, are all of us like me? What do you mean? Naive? Hey, now. I'm not that naive. Okay, maybe I am. But it's just because I want to learn and revive the old ways before the scriptures became the only thing keeping merfolk from helping the land dwellers. Do I ever think I'll get the opportunity to see the day merfolk can help humans again? I have no clue. But I know that I'm going to at least try my best. Oh? Oh, no, no. Silly thing. You don't have to do anything for me in return. But I'd really like it if you could tell me more about what it's like to be on land. I've heard stories of kings and queens, of dragons and of dashing rogues. So much to hear about. If you'd like to, of course. I understand you're probably going to be very busy for a while. You know, trying to get off of this island. Yes, it'll be hard, but I'll help you all I can. I can bring you supplies that aren't too damaged from the deep, while you grab things off the island and the shallows to use. That and if you ever get hungry, I can grab some fish and other foodstuffs from the surf for you. I'm here to help you and get you back on your journey to wherever you were going. Not that I'm trying to get rid of you or anything. I'm just not selfish enough to leave you stranded here, all while I pelt you with the many questions I'm going to ask you about life on the surface. There's so much I want to learn from you, and I'm sure that I could probably stay here asking you questions while I rest in the shallows forever. But I know that you probably have better things to do. Humans aren't so different from us, you know? You need each other like me and my kind need each other. Hmm, to that end, I'm thinking that maybe you could build your own little boat. <laughs> and I could help. We could do it together. 
Something that can sail you to the closest inhabited island that I know of. We might have to get you to Galestorm Rock. It's a few weeks, maybe a bit more than a month from here, but I'm sure that we'll make it if we put our heads together. Though, I will say, you'll probably be sick of fish and kelp at the end of your journey. <laughs> I'm sorry that there isn't more to eat, but at the very least, there should be things you can eat here on the island. Why the food? Well, we'll need to keep you stocked up for your journey to Galestorm. Galestorm is currently held by the Grinflurian Armada, so when you eventually get there, we'll... we'll have to go our separate ways. But until then, I'd love to help you, and maybe if you're so inclined, be my friend? <laughs> but I guess that's something that can wait until the time comes. Uh, there's no need to thank me, Traveler. I just want to help and relive the ways of old. When sailors used to rely on us and we could be friendly towards one another. I think that if humans and merfolk were on good terms, so much could be accomplished. Maybe there'd even be ways for us to explore the land as we can help sailors explore the sea. Well, a merfolk's kiss can grant the ability to breathe and see under the water for a lengthy duration. It's what I used to make sure that you didn't drown when I brought you here. <laughs> Oh, you're red. Are you okay? Ah, it's nothing. Just a thing that humans do? Well, alright. If you're okay, then I'll relax. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that you weren't coming down with something. I know humans sometimes get very warm when they're ill. Do you mind if I check to see? It won't hurt. Trust me. Just let me... Oh... Your... Your... <laughs> uh, I'll try to refrain from touching you in the future without asking first. I... I didn't know that you'd feel this way. But I can sense it. B believe me when I say I'm flattered. I really am. But maybe... Maybe somewhere down the line... Some time down the line, we can explore that path. But I think that it's getting late. Perhaps we should get you dried off and have you get some shut-eye while you can. The moon is high in the sky and morning shall come soon. You'll need all the strength and energy you can get to start building your way from here. As much as I'd love to keep you up all night with my questions, I know that you'll need your rest. You've gone through so much and have so much more to go through. Just call to the sea and I'll be here soon enough. No, I'm not going to abandon you. I'm sorry I can't offer you somewhere to sleep, but there should be some hammocks in the hull of that wreck. You should be able to make yourself comfortable as you can in them. Until we get you set up with a proper bed, at least. That is what humans sleep on, if I remember. Anyways, um, getting a little bit hungry and tired from bringing you here. It was a long swim. So, I'm going to head off and find something to eat. Then a nap in some seaweed off the coast so I can hear you if you need me. <laughs> yeah, I'll be safe. Very few creatures seek to harm her folk, so I'll be fine. Thank you for asking. Now, get yourself some rest, okay? I'll see you in the morning, traveler. <laughs>